Titan II, the largest and the most powerful ballistic missile in our arsenal. 54 are currently deployed at three Strategic Air Command locations. Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona, McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas, and Little Rock Air Force Base, Arkansas. These underground launch sites are hardened against nuclear attack. 1978 marks the 15th anniversary of Titan II's operational readiness. Standing 103 feet tall with a 10-foot diameter and weighing 150 tons, Titan II can be up and out of the silo in less than a minute after receipt of launch command, hurling its payload at speeds of 15,000 miles per hour nearly halfway around the world. Titan II was developed under the management of the Air Force Ballistic Systems Division, forerunner of the present Space and Missile Systems Organization, and by the teamwork of several contractors. Space Technology Laboratories provided technical direction. Denver Division of the Martin Marietta Corporation developed and produced the airframe and integrated the 54 Titan II complexes. Aerojet General Corporation produced the hypergolic propulsion system using a fuel and oxidizer that ignite on contact. AC Electronics Division of General Motors Corporation provided the airborne inertial guidance system that can be programmed for pre-selected targets. General Electric Company's Missile and Space Vehicle Division developed the re-entry vehicle. The launch facilities were designed by the Ralph M. Parsons Company. Titan II was conceived in 1960. The final squadron was delivered to the Strategic Air Command in December 1963. The missile and support facilities have been upgraded as the state of the art has advanced. As part of a continuing crew training program, Titan IIs are occasionally launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. Developed with the technology of 15 years ago by AFSC, Titan II is still one of our major deterrent forces. It waits quietly underground, its retaliatory potential available on a moment's notice. <laughs>